What's up? Bridge Raven 5678 here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. It's been a hot minute since we played Total War Warhammer 3. So, um, and where we left off, we left off with the Wood Elves. And at first I liked them, but then after playing about 30, 35 hours of them, I stopped liking them. <laughs> they were just kind of boring to me because you, the whole gist of playing the Wood Elves is that you don't really want to move too far around the map because you want to stick around and protect your heartland and just take out any land that is around your uh your big tree okay there are a bunch of tree shaggers um so anyway so i got bored and i kind of just popped off a warhammer as a whole um ever since but then space marines 2 came out played that i'm loving it and then i kind of got curious about what's going on in total war warhammer 3 and um a little bit has changed uh since i've been here or since we've been back um so uh number one is that there's a couple of new characters we got a new character for the empire uh this chick was obviously i haven't bought any of them so um then we got another person from the nurgles so actually we got two people Woo, nice so i'm actually really happy too so i'm actually kind of curious to see how this goes and then of course we got another character from one of my favorite factions in the game the dwarves i can't understand if people don't like the dwarves okay totally understand in fact i heard that some people think they're boring fair enough <clears throat> uh, just got hang on a second I'm, I'm gonna put your name in the book of grudges thank you thank you thank you all right anyway so back to it so um but yes but we also got a new character for the courts i'm at work oh fuck now i'm going to the books i'm going into the book of grudges we got a new character for the dwarves and their their slayer which is my favorite because when i'm playing dwarves man i'm usually oh, playing in good iron fist i love the slayers love the lore and i love their play style i just love seeing the little boys just go in there anyways so um yeah so now to get prepared for this thing um i wanted to you know coming back and stuff like that because today i figured you know we're gonna go through the dwarves and stuff like that maybe make it a weekly thing so warhammer mondays maybe i don't know nothing nothing too permanent before we get started though of course um i wanted to actually kind of get into not character but to get kind of get into um the feeling of being a dwarf and one of the things that the dwarves love the most is beer fuck yeah <laughs> i'm a beer man thankfully so anyways i was kind of looking up on the internet and i was like hmm what is a beer that a dwarf from the warhammer fantasy look up and i found this one beer it is called celebrators it is finest bavarian double bock now i don't know what any of that means but anyways um i decided you know what let's go ahead and drink maybe get a little tipsy halfway through the video and see what it's like this is the blackest beer i've ever seen by the way so but um all right let's see if this is do 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 enough yeah wow that's oh yeah i don't know about that one like it's not bad Wow, I don't know. I really don't know what I feel about this beer. So, anyways, um, so that's out of the way, and um, let's go ahead and start off with the dwarves and talk about uh, read the lore real quick. <clears throat> dwarves are a proud, bearded folk who are quick temper, often denied by love of gems, gold, and other precious metals. Basically, they're greedy little bastards. With their dwarf holes established across the old world, the Dawi as they call themselves, and Kazalid prospered for many generations until their realm was riven by a chain of devastating conflict and earthquake. In recent time, the dwarves are a race barely holding on to glorious past, with only a few strongholds remaining in their hands and the rest lost to enemies or abandoned to the elements. To this day, the Dwari still fight. The ultimate goal is to restore the Kara's encore, and they have the means to do it with fearsome throngs of warriors and the most advanced weaponry in the old world. So yeah, so these little guys, man, they have the most advanced weapon or technology uh, in the old world. And they are 
freaking they're, 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 they're courageous okay man i mean you tell them you say like okay so like say you go to a gym you're working out and everybody's tired and stuff like that you're the coach right you said all right boys good job one one more mile and we'll call it a day everybody was like oh the doors were like okay and you know and you're running with the little like anyways but yeah but uh no they these guys they will go down and die for you if they like you enough but they're angry little bastards they're probably not but anyways today we are going to be looking at now i have a couple options we're not going to go in order stuff like that and obviously i got to learn how to what i'm doing with malachi here but i wanted to go in with the king of all the dwarves Thorgrim Grudgebearer Hell yeah man So let's go ahead and read a little bit of lore So Thorgrim Grudgebearer Is the current High King of the Dwarves He is a throwback to the High Kings of old Eager for new conquests Mighty in battle And a merciless enemy Yet on his worn brow, uh, brow There is also sits a great wisdom And he is able to uphold the ancient traditions As well as to accept If not embrace needed changes such as alliances and new technology Thorgrim is forever brooding upon how to return his people to their former glory as the ultimate ruler of the dwarves the great book of grudges is entrusted into his keeping it is Thorgrim's avowed wish to avenge every single entry contained in that voluminous tome I've never heard that word before uh an impossible task if he should live a thousand lifetimes yet such is his resolve that he has already helped to rejuvenate the whole of the Karaz Ankur. <laughs> Tales of his deed in the long list of grudges already struck out fill his grim warriors with a feeling that the dwarves have long done without hope. Born upon the throne of power and brandishing the axe of Grimir, Thorgrim Oh, I'm about to get Scottish in the, up in this bit. Is at the forefront of what the dwarves hope will be great conquering. A new age of retribution. Now, Thorgrim, um, uh, being the king, let's go over his faction. Thorgrim being the uh you know the high king of all the dwarves, diplomatic relationship is plus 20 with all the dwarves because it makes sense. Upkeep for long beards and hammers, uh minus 15, recruit rate rank for hammers is three which hammers are okay i mean they're pretty good i believe they got uh armor piercing damage or i mean actually they wouldn't be armor piercing i don't know well actually hold up do, do we have any of them um hammers uh okay so they don't seem to have armor piercing they got magical attack oh they do got armor piercing okay good so yeah, so very good to uh, get a couple of uh, hammers on this guy's name. Aquaman has more powerful effect. You gain extra High King degree through some of Thorgrim's unique skills. High King decrees. I don't really know what that means, to be honest, but we'll see anyway. Leadership or Scythe plus 75%, which is kind of crazy. Um, because yeah, I mean, obviously leadership is just, you know, to keep people in battle. And so as long as they see, you know, the king out there, they the, the boys are going to stay and fight, all right? Passive ability, guardian for hammer unit. Uh, wait, what? Physical resistance plus 15. That's pretty good. And physical resistance for hammer unit. Wait, what? Wait, yeah, well, duh. That, that's exactly what that is. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So, the, um, if you are the kind of guy or gal, you know, we don't discriminate on this channel, that likes to drink a beer while you're playing some Warhammer. Oh. And, um, and you like to sit back. You know go into the battle but you want to sit back and relax and just watch the battle go play some dwarf man because these guys have the best if not one of the best defense in the entire game okay they are tanky tanky little boys all right i'm sorry and um and they got the coolest beards ever i mean look at the size of these beards bro like this is the, this is what i could only dream of okay like i can probably grow like a pretty fine armor beard N not like this though i mean this this mm, i will never be a man enough to be a dwarf but anyways i'll also never be short enough to be a dwarf though <laughs> anyways <laughs> um so yeah but um yeah like i said man i can kind of see why some people might not like dwarves i like them okay not just in terms of battle even though um one of their main weaknesses is that they're slow they got really good defense they also got r access to really good you know weaponry like technology and all that stuff cannons gun flamethrowers 
and they got my personal favorite the slayers which again the slayers are like my favorite unit or whatever of the dwarves so it's probably taking a little extra time to load in because of all the uh i got extra mods in the game so march on brave doey march on i'm never gonna out drink a dwarf that's for sure <laughs> all right so since i've been since i've been gone um since i've been gone uh the clutch system has been changed and so i haven't actually been able to play enough to actually fully understand it but basically what the old grudge system is so let's go ahead and open up the great book of grudges which is something that every green elf skins got, must die uh, in the mountain pass to the east attack now while they remain vulnerable okay i've only said elves because this dude decides to interrupt me um but i'm going into the great book of grudges anyway so wonderful anyway you got a little meter up here <clears throat> the higher the meter is the more angry the dwarves are which is both good and bad because the higher this meter goes the stronger units you can get recruited into your th keep but the less control and uh also some bad stuff will start happening um you know if it doesn't uh resolve it and uh well hold up a second that's at least how the old one is what is this little grudges and hmm okay so it looks like if we want to we so basically these are kind of like a book of objectives okay let's let's call it that the books of objectives um and in lore this is basically grudge of people who wronged you in the past so you so so you put them in the book and then once you settle the grudge you can cross them off so you're good so all right so in other words um say you know um say you're walking down an aisle at walmart right and you know you see an old lady just you know she's coming down the other end of the aisle and stuff like that and she decides to stop at the peanut butter you need to get a peanut butter but then this wrinkly old bitch decides to stop in front of the peanut butter with their cart and just dazzle on and it's like you already know what you want but she ain't gonna let you through and then you're like ma'am can i get through and she's like no you ain't get that i'm not talking from experience by the way anyway you put that old bitch in the book of grudges okay and then like five days later you come up there and i don't know you pop her tires or something i don't know but anyways um but that's basically the doors uh in general and um what it seems like if i can understand is that if we do these uh missions um for the grudge so say destroy the fallen faction okay so these are dark elves so basically if you fight and, and defeat the dark elves then we'll get a unique okay so a unique dwarf lord is added to your group okay so you get an extra thing plus you get um a currency called settled uh, grudges um and then um and then once you get those things what what happened okay so then the meter goes up i'm assuming i don't know what this means until the next age of reckoning okay i don't know what that means entirely but then i guess the higher this thing goes up the yeah you can start recruiting you know the long beard the slayers the iron drace stuff like that um plus i also know to convince a legendary lord to join you surpass their faction total number of settled grudges by set amount okay so um so obviously there are different legendary lords set out you know for the dwarf right i mean you know there's one for the slayers which is like i believe there's like more like up here um and obviously we're playing the legendary lord Doomgrim. so we can actually confederate with them which means that we can control them and uh yeah all we need to do is have more grudges uh settled and we can go ahead and get things so that's what that's what i'm already guessing by the way i'm i'm i mean maybe i understand it too fast but we'll see anyways um we also have another uh thing of currency called both gold now i don't know if this is any different um but originally you used uh you you get uh oath gold and then you can basically use it to form to make like armor for a unit or a character or a weapon or just something to give you a bonus uh in the battle stuff like that plus the um because these guys are really familiar with going underground they can also use the underway to basically get through um parts to so say if i wanted to go like here or something like that we use the underground passes and go and just up here there so whoo all righty well i think i explained the uh 
the bases of the dwarves. And we're only 15 minutes in, which is actually, I feel like it's quite shorter than normal. But let's go ahead and get into our first battle. So, of course, we're going to get our legendary hero. Go ahead and have him join the army. And so far, it looks like we got some dwarf warriors, some hammers, a long beer, some miners. Which I am. Miners are quite shit, but we got them anyways. Quarlers, and we got the driver bobbers. And of course, we got our king right here. So let's go ahead and get into battle. And as always, we're going to fight it. Not because, um, you know, uh, I want to show off the dwarves. Well, actually, it's part of the reason why I want to show off the dwarves as much as I can in battle. But also because I highly recommend you just fight the first couple of battles. Just so you can kind of get a thing going and, you know keep the momentum because if you auto resolve even if you have a decisive victory you might lose more than you know you uh would if you just fight the battle so i'm just saying I'm about taking another sip of this beer oh God damn like, it's not bad it's just i don't know i i really cannot explain it uh, anyways let's go ahead and do the lineup real quick before we get into it Let's look, check out the boys who are ready for battle. So we got the Dwarf Warriors. Now, as I've said, um, Dwarves has the best defense in the game. Or one of them. All right. So these boys, they will hold their own uh, no matter what you put up against them. With high armor and shields. Yeah. They get, they're, they're, like, don't expect Dwarves to go out and chase enemies down, okay? They are slow. You can see why they're slow. They get to Anyways, uh, but yeah, so we got the Dwarf Warriors in here. Then, of course, we got all the long beards, as you can tell. They got pretty long beards. And they got great weapons, so they have to be good against, I imagine, higher enemies, so. But yeah, the, this is basically where our damage is going to come from. We got the Hammers, who are, uh, who also got pretty nice beards, if I say so myself. These boys, uh, they will be taking out any enemy with uh, high armor, which we are going against uh, the green skins. Naturally, they don't have that much armor. We got the miners who, all right, you know what? They're, uh, they're good if you're going to end sieges, but anytime you can get replace them and get, you know, it, you know, more dwarf warriors and stuff like that, just do it. It's, it's worth it. Then we got the gyro bombers, which yes, dwarves and helicopters. These mofos are so good. They basically shoot like little rockets, and they also can drop bombs. All right, it's awesome. Then we got the quadrilles, and these guys are all right too. I mean, you don't want to put them in melee. Obviously, they got really low melee stats and stuff like that. But well, actually, is it a decent? No, I wouldn't put them in. Don't, if you can avoid it, don't put them in uh, melee. Keep them shooting shit, and everybody's happy. Of course, we got our, our hero, um, Tom Philipson. I like the last name, Philipson. So, he's our gun bearer, or gun guy, stuff like that. We're going to actually put him in the front with the uh, archers pretty soon. But, of course, we got to go with the last, but not certainly not least, the mighty king, Thorgrim Bloodspearer, being held by... Four warriors on the throne. That is awesome. And look at that. Yeah. And look at that. He got his great. He got his book of grudges. It's so cool, man. I fucking love the droid, dude. It's the angry little men. Oh, I love it. All right. You know what they say? Short temper, you know, and all that stuff. So short people, short temper. So let's go ahead and set the boys up. Ready for war. All right. So we're going to get this going. Uh, actually, hold up. Who we, who we got? Who we got? Uh, let's see. Do we got any goblins to worry about? No. Okay, so they got goblin archers and orc boys, and that's it. So, okay. So, you know, not nothing that we can't handle. Um, considering that we are definitely don't have a lot of, uh, things to put up front. What we're going to do is we're going to ask to kind of make a certain thing so as i've said before the dwarves they are a very tanky totally uh faction let's just say that all right um so yeah you want to go ahead and play as tanky as possible sort of similar to nurgle 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and just because I believe these guys are gonna come out here, let's go ahead and put these guys to the side over here. And then we're gonna keep the. Anyway, where's what? Who's these guys? Oh shit! Long guys. Uh, something's wrong with my button. I think I need a new keyboard. Some of my combination keys are not working for some reason. There we go. Actually, I'm going to do something even better. So, the good thing about um, a, a, like a long line is that it, you know, it, it, there's more areas to cover. Uh, the bad thing is, though, is that if you have, if you go against enemies that are really good at charging, say like a cavalry unit, they can just smash through your line if they want. But if you keep your guys boxed like a box like this, they're gonna have a hard time charging through, right? And that's kind of what we want them to do. We kind of want them to, whoops. We kind of want them to charge at us. So, and I'm taking a long time to get this thing going, but I'm, I'm messing up here. Give me a second. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'll, I'll just keep it like that, so. Or we can just do this. Yeah, we can do that. All right, keep it simple. Right. Um. Okay. Thank God, they are playing like the green skins should be and just charging into us. Yeah, it's the boss speaking. All right. Wait for them to show up. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, I forgot how to do the uh, freaking camera control. Oh well, whatever. First shot has been fired. There goes the arrows. Yeah, the thing is that the thing that sucks is that they got freaking uh thing. So uh, they got shield. So we're just gonna have to try to thin out their archer units first. Yeah. All right, time to back up. So with uh, dwarves, you want to go ahead and retreat. If you if you play if you do this, you want to go ahead and retreat your units a little bit sooner um, because they are slower. So, all right, we got the gyro chopper shooting in, but we got the class coming up. Oh shit! Here they come! Yeah! Hold the line, boys! All right, so let's go ahead and get in to get the choppers in. To the chopper. And then, of course, of course, get the archers firing on them. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, leader in there, but hold up. Dropping some bombs. Keep go ahead and put some pressures on them. And. And there we go. So now we got. They're pretty much the sandwich in, so sort of. So we got the get the hammers going in. Come on, boys. So where's our where's our guy? There he is. So come on, Thorgrim. Yeah, look at all that explosion going on, bro. There's no way they should be able to. The York should be able to win this because of just the technology that we got. So let's go ahead and we need to get these guys in there. Get bomb through. Okay. Yeah, let's get the gyro choppers out of the way because the archers are gonna hit the gyro choppers if you don't. All right. Well, it seems like they're almost retreating. Yeah, let's go ahead and get them, get the hammers in there. Yeah, good job. That guy just got uppercutted. Oh yeah, I miss this game. This game is still good, dude. So someone just lost the head. Yeah, looks like they're retreating. So look how much taller the orcs are compared to the dwarves. And they got smoke. Which actually, it makes it really good because, uh, means our archer units and our gun units are, are gonna have should have an easier time shooting over the boys head. so but yeah look at them run they're cowards so 
But um, look at this. I, I mean, it's a solid wall. You can see where we were originally. The solid wall of defense that the dwarves have. It's just it's so nice, dude. Now, of course, them being uh, short and stuff like that and tanky, they do have a couple of weaknesses. Shit. Okay, sorry. I had another swig of the beer. Anyways, um, number one, flanking. If you can flank the dwarves, um, we're, we're gonna have a hard time, you know, getting readjusted and, and uh, you know, fixing that issue. That's why when you fight the Skaven, you gotta be very careful because of the fact that Skavens can just appear out of nowhere. Like, most of the lords, if not all of them, have that ability to where they can just, like, spawn a unit of rats from the ground. And that's... It, it, it can definitely mess up uh the dwarves defense if that happened another thing too is that if they if they if the enemies have uh artillery that can be another problem for us um you know archers it's not going to be that much of an issue because we got great armor plus we got shields so that's an extra thing of defense but i mean catapults you know freaking tanks you know stuff like that that is a way that you can definitely destroy the uh destroy the defense so if you can penetrate the defense of the dwarves then you can pretty much win but that's a big if okay i mean um yeah that they're, they're, we're not gonna let you guys you know just come over and you know break up our formation all right so we fight side by side man oh man like a like a turtle really all right well anyways let's go ahead and Get our replenishment. And nice, so we got a mission success. But let's go ahead and go into the next we battle straight away. So So I just realized too that uh when we took that when we we're about to take the settlement, we get grudge points too. Grudge points. Alright. So let's go ahead and fight this. So we're going right in from the first one to the next. Um so but anyways, um whew, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> the alcohol is kinda ticking in and I think I'm like only halfway uh do this thing oh man oh man you know what it is i think it's kind of similar to guinness but i don't know i never actually had a guinness before actually no i like i did have a guinness beer before it was the nastiest beer i've ever had it was so so i don't know maybe it was just too much for me but yeah, that beer was nasty. I had to get the waitress to, you know, get me another beer. So kind of felt bad for it. I don't like to be that customer, but I am. I don't like this. Can I get something else? But, you know, oh well. So that that's what happens when you're very adventurous and you like to try new things. So anyways, um, so holy crap. Look at the size of this. And we got a new problem. We got cavalry too. So, cavalry shouldn't be too much of an issue as long as we can keep them in front of us, in front of our shields. If they get behind our shields, they could be an issue, so. Um, honestly, I might make, I might have the gyro trappers go ahead and swoop in and start opening some rounds on these guys first, because they're my biggest concerns, but to be honest, that's about it. So, I mean, just goblins and orcs and stuff like that. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. My only concern is that unit over there. So we'll keep we'll put the gyro choppers out here just to keep an uh, eye on the right side here. But other than that, shit, we got a we got a mm. they they got a long line. So basically, they got archer boom and boom. So I say to prevent us from getting flanked. We don't have enough uh, units to really do too much. So we're going to make something similar to what I was trying to do the first time. But then we don't really need to do it. Um, do this. We're pretty much just going to make a solid wall. Um, uh, the bad thing is... To, hmm, actually... What I could do, uh, if my control is working, button I am press I am pressing the right button. I'm pretty sure, right? Hold up. 
I think I'm pressing the wrong button. Right, whatever. Anyways, what I could do actually is set everything up over there because if I want to make the miners useful, I want to put them out here. So, now, the reason why um, this could definitely be not worth it is because they're the doors are small and they they take a long time to get around the map so it could be a bit of an issue but we'll see so all right i'm gonna go ahead and put them here like i said it's gonna they're gonna have a lot of room to move over over here but that's why we'll just try to just do what we can keep the flanks secure with the gyro choppers so um go boom boom go. okay i don't think i mind actually i do kind of mind that And then who else we got? Actually, this isn't too bad. So what we could probably do, I put these guys like this. Okay. All right, like I said, we just gotta be careful on the right side here, but let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully they will just come straight down and then we're gonna have our miners go around and attack oh, these guys. Let's just wipe them out. Take up your axes and seek glory in death. Yeah, this is a beautiful picture, by the way really good very very good all right okay this is actually kind of perfect right now so they're sending in their cavalry so of course they're kind of falling into what we kind of want them to do they haven't even realized they messed up yet so oh, oh, oh yeah i'm feeling the beer Ooh, that gave me chills actually i'm feeling the beer but yeah. all right on Dari. Yep. That's what we needed. Okay. Oh crap. Okay. They're gonna get the archers on on the uh on them. That's not good. Alright, come on boys. Get up a storm. Uh, just get something going. I don't know. Anything really. Actually shoot the goblins. Goblins should have less armor. Get a volley going and move them back. There we go. They gotta reload anyway, so. Uh. Don't exactly what I'm scared of. Okay, so the bombs actually made them kind of go from here to like. <laughs> kind of be like, oh, wait a minute. Alright. Go ahead and move the miners out. Go, boys, go! They probably won't even realize that we're coming out of the woods from over here until uh, much later. Alright. Get the archers out there. Gotta help the dryer choppers. Uh, other than that, though, the boys, once again, holding a steady front line. So they cannot lose with the goblins. Come on now. So. They might be the same height as us, but they ain't, they ain't nothing. Yeah, that guy just lost his arm. So. Yeah. So. Look at this. This is a solid line, too. And I'm not really seeing it with this one dwarf, but I'm not seeing a lot of dwarf casualties so far. This is good for us. And the miners is finally caught up. Come on, boys. Get in there. All right, what's going on over here? We Okay, so they finally retreated. Go ahead and get the gyro bomber. Oh, what the fuck? Gotta get the gyro bombers out here. What did I do? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright. We're okay, gonna finally have the coilers fighting in. And have the hammers fighting them. There we go. So, oh yeah. Go ahead and get the rest of the boys in there and kind of drive them away. 
Uh, do we have any heroes? All right, we do. So, but the giant chopper is going to take them out, so. Go ahead and just, you know, push up a little bit more. Why not? Except there is a group there. They are. <laughs> they tried to sneak up and try to take some of our guys out from the back, but not going to happen, so. But there we go. So, another battle in hand. So, yeah, as I've said, it is a very defensive, um, you know, play style. Similar to the Wood Elves, I just find that, you know, melee defense is good. The Wood Elves, again, um, you, you want to have most of your damage from range attacks um but with the dwarves they're just like i said all around defensive so similar to the nurgles you kind of want to try to outlast your enemies but oh my god can you imagine an online match versus a top tier dwarf defensive player versus like a defensive nurgle player that would be slow as fuck Ugh. Not gotten used to that beer yet, man. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh I just saw some of the stupidest shit ever. A man in New York City asked women to sit on his face and many agreed to do it. And they actually got pictures of women doing it. Um and then the very first comment they got 14,000 upvotes is I tried that in 2009 over here in Dublin. For a similar good cause. It's amazing how much the world can change when you're freed after five years. Yeah. Um the world is definitely different. Alright, anyways, um, so yeah, so we finally I uh, got our settlement. So um, usually I wouldn't really want to try to loot and occupy because 200 is really nothing. So let's just go. Let's just let's just capture him. All right. Plus we get our grudge points uh, once we you know capture them stuff like that. Complete an age of reckoning to gain effects. Interesting. All right. We take the realms. So we're done with pretty much the uh, the battle part and stuff like that. Of course we still got more places to go but first of all we got to upgrade our keep and of course you want to just keep upgrading uh our stronghold karaz a corrupt um so we got that we got our military in there so i think um definitely want to go for growth so that's another thing i highly recommend um uh, especially if you're like a new player or anything is to do your best to expand growth as fast as you can because that's how you get more like slots to unlock buildings and stuff like that you know just to make your well, empire stronger so right. so let's go into technology real quick and i believe this is different actually hold up uh diplomatic relations with door which is, could be actually really good because you know Dorgrim is freaking already has a bonus on getting dwarves uh diplomacy so that could actually be holy shit that could actually be really good uh let's see clans um speed for infantry you know extra speed for dwarves okay that that's really good that's really good because again they're very slow but i mean if you like playing nurgle uh which i do personally which is why i'm actually kind of excited uh i think i'm actually gonna go ahead and get the thorns of decay dlc because uh i love nurgle um crewman cost for infantry okay this is actually really good yeah interesting and you know honestly it seems like they made it easier to get uh some of the units that are locked behind the growth system because all you gotta do is get the points and then you can unlock the units so i actually kind of like that because before the higher the longer it takes you to get grudges done the higher the meter will go 
and the higher the meter goes the more of those uh exclusive units um that you can only unlock with the you know grudges um you know the you can unlock you know those good units and stuff like that but you also get you know less control so you, you know people start getting pissed pissed off wait we're talking about the dwarves people will start getting more pissed off um and the stuff will be bad so you get like a positive and a negative stronger army but a worse economy so anyway i think i'm just gonna go ahead and get this because yeah extra diplomatic points with other doors that's really good speaking of diplomacy let's go ahead and check our diplomacy real quick so um okay so the doors was i like these guys i'm glad we got some uh extra dwarves helps right here uh we already got non-aggression and military and we're already doing trade so these guys are at least these are our boys right here so we're not gonna mess with them um okay so we've got zombie far so it's over here so um oh we can already do a trade agreement a yo day. that's mad um and we can we can basically balance out the offer and have them pay us 79 but it will give us less points in our diplomacy so their point status over here the higher the friendlier they are um so we'll go ahead and just post the offer and that's that all right now if you ever do a diplomacy with the green skin you are not a dory and you deserve to be written in the book of shame no the book of grudges stuff like that the green skins are our worst enemies okay we don't like them all right they are a plague on this earth that will be written one day when we when the dwarves finally get their revenge uh of course we got skavens but nobody's friends with skavens so we're not gonna worry about them but then we got the, the then we got you know the whole land of man so with the empire so that so we got emperor call friends the leader of the empire um and of course we're good with them because um back in the old 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 days before the empire was a thing uh humans were more tribal and the greenskins found the human and started raiding and killing off most of the human population but um then the dwarves met this one cool guy named sigmar and sigmar uh, basically form uh, an alliance between all the human tribes and the dwarves gave them the warhammer which is why this thing is called warhammer and um and they managed to beat the greenskins and now we're like really cool dudes so yeah that's that so already cool with emperor call friend yeah i mean the dwarf just has a good relationship with humans so Deliver that's good message. um i'm not gonna lie it's probably not worth this, uh, to do it with these dudes. Do any kind of diplomacy because these guys are going to get smacked between the ogres and the green skins. So, yeah, so it's probably not even worth it. But, yeah, Wyklin. Welcome, oldest friends of the Empire. Very important. Let's actually go ahead and give them all. So, we can just boost our friendship with them. There we go. Um, and then we got the vampire cunts, and we're not gonna even talk about the vampire cunts, okay? They're, they're, they're cheap, rot, cheap rotten bastards, so... I'm not a fan of going against the vampires, okay? Because, like, when you destroy an army, another one just comes out. Because, uh, vampires gets a really good effect called Raise of the Dead. Which basically means that if there's, like, a battle that happened on there, you can basically, like, summon another army. It's crazy, so... Ooh, zombies and stuff like that, but... It's crazy. Um, okay. So we also got skills to fight that. Now, because we are going against green skin, so the idea when I'm playing Thorgrim is that I kind of want to we'll go ahead and talk about the war. So the idea here is that we want to basically um, follow the Book of Grudges. So it's going to kind of lead us on a path going up here to destroy this clan. And then we also got Scar Snake, which is another legendary lord for the green skin. My advice is that if you can and you and you have the opportunity, take out a legendary lord as fast as you can, because then they won't be a problem for you. Um, of course, if you're going to be at war with them anyways, um, the weaker the legendary lord is, the easier it's going to be to destroy them. Um, so 
the idea is that we're gonna try to take out Star, uh, Scar Snake and the Crooked Moon, I believe they're called. Um, yeah, Crooked Moon Green Skin. So yeah. Anyways, once we do that, we're gonna move up, and then we're gonna meet up eventually with Ungrim Iron Fist, the leader of the Slayers, who is my fucking favorite. And um, yeah, that's the whole gist of it. So, anyway, um, that's pretty much the dwarves in a nutshell i mean in one turn i know usually i like to go at least a couple turns but that's kind of just to explain but the thorgrim i mean you get a pretty good start i'm not gonna lie now the only issue with thorgrim is that you that even though you kind of want to go focus up you know north around the mountain you're gonna have enemies everywhere now you probably see the settlements oh okay oh that's unoccupied oh okay cool cool Oh, uh, Iron Rock? Oh, that's not, that's not, but, wow, look at these free settlements. Man, that's kind of crazy. They're, no, no, it ain't that easy. See over here, these have Skaven corruption. Skavens, they live in ruins, underground ruins. And they are most definitely there. And Skavens are Skaven. They will backstab you. They will kick you in the balls. Even if you're one of them, they will, they will backstab you, okay? so yeah um you're gonna have enemies here you're gonna have enemies here you're gonna have enemies here you got enemies here you're gonna have enemies all the way over here because you got more skaven you got another freaking legendary lord but you got craven tail which is uh actually a very what i call him a meme legendary lord because he's very good at running away and being a coward but yeah you pretty much got enemies everywhere so um build another army as fast as you can and have them defend this side while you move up north just so you can at least become friends and confederate Ungram eventually so <laughs> but that's my advice otherwise build a very tanky army dwarves are very very freaking good at defensive so you know if you like i said if you like to sit back and drink celebrate tour finest bavarian double bock i still don't know what that means but it's the blackest beer i've ever seen then you're gonna have a good time and i love the dwarves so i'm very happy so um other than that i'm gonna go check out malachi or whatever his name was and uh yeah that, that's about it so the dwarves are not too hard to understand um so wow this is actually going to be the shortest warhammer video i've ever made huh, go figure thank you guys so much for watching as always See you in the next one. Later.